So this week we are going to be looking at uh, Tina 4 uh, models or looking at how it interacts with your data. Um, so we're going to first look at our little man who's really keen to use our, our web app. Um, and yeah, he last week he sent us a route and he figured out how to use those. And um, now we need to send that uh, request through to our model, which is the model in the MVC paradigm. Um, and that is just talking to our data. And so that is what we are doing this week. So let's look at our code. And I've gone ahead and set up a little bit of, of code ahead of time. So I've set up a route. And if you don't know how to do those, then you can look back at the previous video where we dealt with routes. Um, but I've got a superhero route. We're passing through an ID as a variable, which then comes through into just a straight plain echo statement. So if we actually start up our web browser um, using a composer script which we've also dealt with in past videos it comes up to our little home page which is the I am home which we which we did in the previous in the previous video but if I actually put in my superhero it says I am superhero one so it is taken in the variable one and just passed it out here now normally what we would do here is we would actually go to get something from the database. So that's the kind of thing we would do, and maybe we would have, um, maybe we would have. So now what we're going to do is we're going to try and create for ourselves a a helper or a, something that will access our data. So we're going to put all of those here in the app folder. So we are first going to create ourselves a superhero helper is going to do all that work for us we're going to add it to our git repository we are then going to create a public function which will be get superhero and we're going to pass it an id there we go and just so that we actually understand that it is working, um, I'm just going to uh, I'm just going to return just a, the actual ID itself, just to make sure that it's flowing through. Something I always do is just try to do small little bits, um, especially if if it's stuff I'm not not 100% on, just to make sure that we're not chasing our tail for ages on something. So here now we are going to say, well, we need a superhero and we are going to instantiate that object, that superhero object. Here's my helper that we're instantiating. We do need to pass an ID. So I'm going to pass the ID through from the route. So it's important and maybe I shouldn't be using all the same, maybe I shouldn't be using um, all the same IDs here just to make it really easy for us to understand. So this is a superhero ID um, and I'm going to return back the superhero ID just so that there's no magic here. So we're going to go back to this and so that ID we're going to pass through to that. Ah, that's nonsense. We need to get it from here. We need to get our superhero there's the function and there we're going to pass through our id apologies for that there we go so what we're doing is we're instantiating the object and then we're using a method of that class and we're passing it the id and of course that then is going to be the superhero id that it picks up and it's going to return the superhero id to us so over here remember this is the return from the function so we're actually going to push that straight out and we shouldn't actually expect anything to be different because all we've done is we've taken the variable, passed it into the helper, and that's passed it, returned it back to us, which we are then putting out. So let's just go and check, but nothing really is going to change. We can change this to maybe superhero two, and we'll see that hmm, that wasn't good. Surely I said superhero two. And there it is, says I am superhero too. Right. So, 
how do we then try and get some information out of the database? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to change this to an actual uh, an actual return, and we're going to use the response variable. And again, uh, if you didn't um, if you didn't pick that up from the previous um, from the previous uh, episode please go back and look at that and it explains what the response variable is and, and and how it works and and what this what all this stuff does um, and I'm actually going to send it back as an application uh, JSON or as a JSON this time right so if we um, if we actually just go back and, and just run it again you'll see now that it actually is just returning and um, returning it as a two um, hmm. Is that what I expected to happen? Yeah, because we just we're just passing back the two. I've lost the actual I've lost the actual I am superhero number two, and that will become evident now. Right, so let's start looking at it. So here what we want to do is we actually want to we want to actually get something from our database. And then we're gonna return it. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is we are going to need to have a superhero all right we're going to say well the superhero and we need to now go get the superhero from the database now what i've done is i have rigged up for myself a little database and so it's really it's just a it's another helper in some ways but pretend this is a database and what we're going to do is we're going to do a select on our database like you would normally and you will get some kind of information back from it and it will return that back to us so don't worry too much about it it's just an array with some information in it but what we are going to do is we're going to say well superhero is a new database um, object so and we will get into how databases work and um and all that stuff when we cover the orm section of tina4 and um, it's got a really cool mechanism to deal with databases um and to figure out um to figure out how to how to navigate them sorry i forgot what the name of the function was it's select superhero hmm what have i done wrong is it right i have made a mistake <laughs> of course it is a database <laughs> and that is the superhero goodness me there we go and we've got to pass it the id so it's the superhero id there it is and that will return to us um the superhero that we need so here though on the return we need to actually return out the superhero and that should be it let's go and have a look at it make sure that i've done it right and there we have it superhero number two is peter parker aka spider-man right so let's look look back at what we've done okay so we've got a route the route passes in a number that number then goes to the get superhero method of that class of the helper class that then comes into here it goes and gets information from our database and then returns it back to our routes the route then send you could do something else with that information but we haven't we've actually just sent it off um we've actually sent it off straight to to the the screen so if we really wanted to we could actually you could actually um do some kind of a, um, a result and you could say I am superhero hmm. is it returning it as an object or is it returning it to be returning it as an array so I am superhero and you can say first name to put a
somehow I lost something. Should do that guy and good. I've done something so wrong here. Ah, oh, there's an extra little. There we go. There's that, there's that, and there's that. Right. So if we go back and we repeat it, it did not do what I wanted. And the reason is because I am still returning back the superhero and I actually need to return back my results. Oh, it did not like that. What did I do wrong? Maybe we should change this to text HTML. There we go. So I am Peter Parker. So let's see who is number one. That's the browser caching for me, which isn't useful. I am Clark Kent. So anyone guess who Clark Kent is? And let's see, who's number three? I'm Lois Lane. Hmm. Was she a superhero? <laughs> All right, so that is pretty much, um, that is pretty much the, the model for getting hold of the database. Now I know that, or if you've been paying attention, you'll actually be going, but hang on, in the model, there was actually no new Tina 4 information because all of this is just standard PHP. This, instantiating a class, calling a method of the class, this is just building some text. All of that, which is the new stuff that we've done that's sitting in the right, creating classes, even creating a class with an array in it, all of this is standard PHP. And then you're saying, well, what's the point? This is just standard PHP. But I'm just trying to help you understand how it fits into the MVC paradigm, how the model works, how the flow works through Tina4. And this will become really important when we start using objects um, and, and extending, them, uh, extending the ORM so that then in the model area, in these helpers, um, it starts becoming very powerful with, with Tina4. And we will do that um, when we start hitting the RM. So that is pretty much it. Um, our guy is starting to get happy because he now is getting some data back um, that he's had. And in the next one, we will look at how do we actually present that information in a way that's not just some little bit of text, but in actual fact, how can we use templating um, and Twig, which is what Tina4 uses, to present uh, a decent a decent screen so if you've got some questions please feel free to put them in the comments below and we'll try and answer them if we see them and hope that that has helped you to start building in your head the framework of how to put together a tina 4 application